You're trying to achieve a specific look in color grading, but you can't pinpoint which hue they're using. Today, I'm gonna show you how to find it. What's up creators, I hope you're doing well. Now, color grading is one of my favorite tools within Lightroom and it allows us to add a hue into the shadows, into the midtones, or into the highlights of our image, or even to paint our entire image with a specific color. Now, as you know, I love replicating color grading looks from other sources, from movies, from uh, content creators, from photographers, from analog styles, but sometimes, from time to time, there comes a style which is very hard to pinpoint which hue they're adding into the shadows, midtones, or into the highlights. Luckily for us, color grading has us covered. So if you go into one of the specific color wheels over here, let's say the shadows, you're gonna find this little square at the bottom left corner. And by selecting this, you can open up the eyedropper option over here. Now the eyedropper will basically allow us to select a specific hue from this image, from another image within Lightroom, or from an entire different program. So we can basically nail down the hue that we want to add into, in this case, the shadows. So let's put it to the test. One way that I like to use it is by adding my reference photo into Lightroom itself and even into the same folder. So right here, as you can see, I have my reference photos over here, which are none other than just screen captures from Batman The Dark Knight. So as an example, let's say that I want to copy this very specific aqua or uh, mint-like color that we have in the background. So I'm gonna set this image as my reference photo. So I'm gonna right click, set as a reference photo. Then I'm gonna go back to my original edit and now in the bottom toolbar, if you don't see the bottom toolbar, just select T on your keyboard and it will appear. Just select R and A, which is my reference view. And you have a side-by-side -side comparison of my reference versus my active. And now I'm gonna select the eyedropper. And remember, you need to drag it into the hue that you want to achieve. So as you know, as I'm dragging it over into the white ceiling at the background, you can see how color grading is adding the value of saturation and hue into the specific area. Now, preferably, you always want to put the eyedropper tool into an area of the image which is neutral, either white, black, or gray that doesn't have a specific hue which is mixing in with the color grading on the images. So right here, I know that the ceiling is probably white, so therefore, all this hue that we're seeing added is basically just the color grading on the shot. Now we can go ahead and close our reference image by selecting the single image view. And now we can go ahead and play around with the saturation, play around with the balance and the blending to achieve the desired results. Now that's one method, but there's a simpler way to use the eyedropper tool. So you don't need to import your image into Lightroom. That's just the method that I like to use. You can always go ahead and make your Lightroom a bit smaller, like so. And here I have my reference photo or the reference video in this case, which is a video from Jack Frax playing Battlefield 6. But as you can see, this shot has a very unique hue added into the shadows, very dark blue, and I found it to be quite nice. So. Again, the eyedropper tool will also work in other tabs, in other windows, and in other programs. So make sure just to have your Lightroom visible so you can see the changes in the color grading. And right here, again, I'm gonna select something which is neutral. In this case, luckily for us, there's a lot of black. So the black choppers over here, we can also select the shadows over here. I'm gonna drag it towards the shadows. And as you can see, we have a darker blue over here. Once selected, we can basically go back and start editing. So just a little note, the eyedropper is not available in Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom Desktop, only in Lightroom Classic. So make sure if you want to use this tool to jump into Lightroom Classic as well. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. Like the video, subscribe, all those things. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you and I'll see you in the next one.